Hello again and welcome to a brand new Ravenson Productions video update and uh, I'm very glad for the very 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 few of you who actually do bother to watch these video updates because you know they're not exciting. A lot of times I'm talking about stuff where I'm just spinning my wheels or treading water and not really making any progress on everything. Things are falling behind and all that kind of shit. Things are falling apart. Special update because things are actually progressing on real projects. Things have actually been shot. Things have actually progressed. We're going somewhere, people. The first thing is that Hemi returned to the stage about a week ago, debuted some brand new songs and their new guitarist Tim Wilkins put on a really solid show. And the video is online in full 1080p HD. You can watch it at the Hemi YouTube channel or the Ravenstone Productions Services YouTube channel. The whole set, you can see some brand new songs on there. Even one song that they have not played in eight years. Many, many, many lineups ago, they did, they wrote this song, Larry's Song, which I really freaking loved. I loved this track. It's a really dynamic one, really good stuff. I'm glad that they finally brought this back, and I got to hear it for the first time, and I really enjoyed it a lot. And they had a lot of good new songs in here that they've got a really solid collection of songs now where they can really keep the sets nice and fresh, trade songs out a lot here and there. And hopefully, now that I don't know if they'll have another show by the end of the year, mm, usually not, but they'll still be working on stuff. So next year, they'll get in the studio, they'll record this stuff, get a nice, nice new album put out, and we can do some really exciting things with that. New music videos, hopefully. We have some stuff in the works for a long time, but uh, that's what's going on with Hemi. Watch the videos in full 1080p HD on either channel. Have a great time. Enjoy some great metal. And they opened for a pale horse named Death, who was a really heavy band of veteran heavy metalers. Really fucking good band. You definitely check them out if you haven't held, if you don't know about them already. Really good stuff. And they had some other bands on there who did a really fine job too. And uh, next up is that I don't know for about oh five six months or whatever, I've been mentioning this. Uh, proof of concept trailer project that came to my attention about Louis Weinberger's erotic thriller novel Into the Devil's Reach and we had some plans that were a little larger at one time a lot more elaborate type of stuff we settled on something a lot more doable on a smaller scale and we went out and we shot some good really good footage that I'm really proud of I was it was great going back and actually shooting something with this new camera, 1080p HD, 24 frames per second, as a film project. And I was very happy with what we achieved. I wasn't too certain how things were gonna kinda roll together, work together, all that kind of stuff, how it was gonna come together uh, beforehand. But once we got into shooting things and saw how things were progressing, how things were looking, and I, th I think it's gonna come together a really solid package. Uh, Lewis is going to be reviewing some footage once I send it to him in the next several days. So uh, once he does, we'll be able to get, he'll send, send me some notes on how he wants to, uh, ideas how to put together the trailer, that kind of stuff. And so I think probably within the next month, you'll be seeing this thing debuting online. I don't, I think that's a plenty wide margin to uh, be comfortable with. You say within the next month, you'll see this thing show up online. And uh, you can go to Lewis's website, you can order the book there, get some excerpts from the novel, read up a little bit, get, get a little taste for what he did for this thing. And uh, it's, it's very uh, explicit type of stuff, and it's, uh, he went full bore with all the subject matter in this whole thing, so it could be very, very entertaining, very uh, engrossing type of stuff. And uh, hopefully uh, once, once we get past this phase, work on a website for his graphic novel version of the novel and everything so good stuff progressing and it's finally it's good to finally get paid for the stuff I love to do so there you go and uh, a couple other things damn it I always forget what the hell else I'm gonna mention uh, fuck there's a uh, speaking of getting paid for stuff I'll show should be uh, putting together a couple more reels for people uh, Chris Agos is always uh, doing some updates to his theatrical reel if you're an actor out there you need a reel put together however much footage how, whatever quality of the footage is just contact me we can talk we'll look at the footage see what we can do I can put together a great reel from almost anything so and if you think your quali quality of your footage is not all that fantastic it's still worth giving it a try 
put something together, see what it works, because I think a reel is becoming a lot more vital to the success of an actor these days. So uh, definitely give it serious thought. And uh, as always, uh, this is Forever Some Mag stuff. You'll still see video reviews and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the written stuff is kind of uh, evaporated because one, partially because there's been a lot less free time for myself, more hours at work and uh, less uh, days off in a row type of stuff. I usually have like a single day off between work days so it's a little harder to get a lot of stuff done at one time. So uh, the written review stuff mainly is because why it's evaporating, why I'm not doing it as much, why I've not been mentioning it in a lot of the reviews saying, hey, go down below, check out the description, the written reviews and link below, like I usually say, is mainly, the main thing is, even if I had more time, the interest has kind of gone down from it because even though I've watched a whole lot more movies this year, I've written more reviews this year than I have in any of the previous years, the reaction, the feedback, all that kind of stuff, the interaction has gone down tremendously. Not, not, not a lot of people hitting the like button, not a lot of people posting comments. It just feels like I'm more just writing this stuff for myself, which isn't too much of a bad thing, but it's very time consuming to sit down and write all these very in-depth reviews because the reason I really started Forever Soon Mac was because, I, yeah, I got inspired because I enjoyed writing the reviews. But I always saw all these websites with all these sort of truncated sort of very service level reviews that really didn't get dig down deep into the substance of a film and really analyze it and tell me what it really has to offer on a deeper level, I wanted to do that with my reviews, even though it would be requiring a lot of these reviews to be much, much, much longer than an average review would be. I wanted to go and attack these films, not attack them, but uh, get deep down, dig deep, dig deep into the very, very core, the very, very substance of these films, and also give you a perspective from an independent filmmaker who knows a lot of things about how to shoot a film in a certain way, how to make the most of what you have when you don't have much of anything. So certain perspectives I could give and a lot more detail and a lot more depth in the reviews. And it takes a lot of time to do that kind of stuff, to watch the film and really dig into the intricacies of a certain film. Take and just if you want, if you read something like my Terminator 2 review, you'll you understand what I mean. <laughs> a lot of the Star Wars reviews, a lot of the reviews, I just want to get really deep into it and just like tell you exactly what I think about this film inside and out. And it's just too much time to devote to something that just feels like I'm just doing it for myself at this point, where there's not a lot of people showing any kind of appreciation for what I do in that re regard. With the video reviews, it's completely fucking different. Even though, if I'm not getting a lot of likes, not getting a lot of subscribes, not, uh, not getting a lot of comments, I just at least, if someone's clicking on a Ravens from Productions video of any kind, that is a conduit into everything I do as Ravens from Productions. The movies, the trailers, the music videos, these reviews, all the various crap I do on this channel is a conduit into everything I do as Ravens from Productions. So... The blog is, is is minimally integrated. There's a couple links on there. It says Ravens for Productions on the blog. It's not really integrated as a as anything that really says you can go to this blog and you can be instantly transported into Ravens for Productions by doing that. Here on the YouTube sh YouTube channel, you're right in there. You're right in the thick of Ravens for Productions, and it creates something. And this is really what I feel has really built up the subscribership of this channel. About a year ago, I think I had like 57 subscribers. I've got 113 now, which is a great feeling. I keep seeing every week, one or two people are subscribing every week. They're finding something interesting in what I say, and I'm very much appreciative of that. It's a, it's a little hard for me to uh, gauge my own, how, how, how well I'm doing with these things, because I, I know I've made some poor videos here and there, and uh, some, some of them kind of disappear unexpectedly. <laughs> But uh, regardless of that, uh, I try to put as much passion, much talent, talent, <laughs> much passion, as much personality, much uh, care into what I do here. And I very much appreciate that you people check it out and show some kind of uh, appreciation for what I do. And uh, the few people do subs do uh, comment, I keep saying subscribe and stuff, comment, comment. I very much appreciate it. I try to, even though I, there's very few commenters, I try to respond to every single one of them with uh, a little bit, little bit of something, a little bit of... Uh, appreciation for you commenting on the video so I, I 
depreciation is the word of the day. Uh, so uh, video reviews will continue to go on because I want to do a lot of great stuff with this stuff. I want to keep doing like some of the franchise retrospectives, which I think is some some other ones to do. Keep the content varied. Don't want to keep focusing on one genre or anything. And uh, I do want to keep doing a lot of stuff where. Uh, I'm focused on stuff that's a little lesser known, but is really, really good films. Like I reviewed the James Spader film Jack's Back, which I thought was really good, a really damn good movie. I thought it was really well executed in the direction, the writing, the, the atmosphere, the whole thing. This uh, whole serial killer thriller where James Spader just fantastic in the movie, spectacular. And uh, something like Fire in the Sky, really fucking good movie. I really like that movie a lot contains one of the scariest fucking sequences I've ever seen in a film that still creeps me out to this day so still want to keep focusing a little bit more on that just trying to pick out some things in my collection that I want to spotlight that people might not know too much about but also some stuff that uh, just so kind of a celebration of certain things here and there so it's a good mix I want to keep going for when the time permits because uh if you do one of those video reviews, it, it can take a whole day, and like I said, sometimes all I have is a single day off at a time in this weird retail schedule I have. So, uh, I will try to continue to produce more content for you people, and uh, there's always that thing in the back of my head to do another Raven's Room Recommends video, a second video, but I do want to kind of focus on some independent films without becoming another movie review type of thing. It's a very odd line to straddle. Because the first, first one was all about like internet video series and podcasts, internet radio stuff. This time I want to focus on actually independent filmmakers. So i got to find some really good uh, choice recommendations for you to check out. So uh, that's probably all I have for you. I know there's always a little, little piece of something floating around in my brain somewhere. Whatever it is. You'll, you go to the Facebook page, the Twitter page, all that kind of stuff. Keep update with the little things here and there as they progress in the meantime between these video reviews so uh i appreciate you checking this stuff out and if you like what you see here hit the like buttons subscribe comments spread some links around anything that you like that you think other people that you know might enjoy definitely post on social media i need the exposure you posting that stuff spreading the word around is the best support you can possibly offer me and uh, i very much appreciate it and uh, I'll let you get on with your lives, as always. I love that. I, I guess that's my tagline, like I say. So let me get. Well, let me let you get on with your lives. And uh, until next time, thanks very much. Bye.